Welcome everybody, my name's Will. This show is called What's in the Bag, Will. I went to the thrift store today, I found some things. Kind of, kind of go over with y'all what I got in my bag. Um, been thrifting for a couple years on eBay. Uh, I just, I love doing it. I'm probably what you consider a part-time flipper. I have a full-time job. I just do this as my hobby. I see a lot of people doing these kind of videos and I thought it might be interesting to uh, put one up myself. Um, kind of go over what I look for. I deal primarily in men's clothing, um, but I come across everything. I like smalls. I like things that'll fit in poly bags and uh, you know flat rate envelopes, stuff like that. Flat rate boxes, um, the big stuff. I take on here and there, but men's clothes uh, and women's too. Sometimes when I find some good women's stuff that I know, but I'm not as knowledgeable about women, so I stick to what I'm good at and I try to venture out. You know time to time in between I'm always learning so that's a great thing about this you always get to learn speaking of learning uh, right behind me I have this uh, Adidas soccer jersey uh, AC Milan jersey um, not a, I got this the other day I'm not a huge soccer guy every once in a while I'll run across a decent looking soccer jersey I haven't really comped this one out yet um, but some of them go pretty high uh, this one does have a slight little uh, blemish on the back. Nothing major, but uh, there's just a little nick right there on the on the back. You probably can't even see it on here, but this guy's name's Gattuso. I don't even know who Gattuso is. I don't really care about soccer, but I know these jerseys can uh, fetch a pretty good amount when you get a good one. So I'll put, I'll you know wait, spend some time looking that up later. But right now. Let's get to what's in the bag, Will. So I went to the local Salvation Army. I spent about 30 minutes in there before I picked my son up from daycare this afternoon. And I got a pretty good hit. So uh, we're gonna start off, it's not that great. This one's kind of, uh, whatever. It's a Tampa Bay Bucks jersey. You know, again, I'm, I'm, I live in St. Pete, Florida. So I come across Bucks stuff all the time. I'm a Buck fan. This happens to be a Jameis Winston jersey. Um, Nike on field. $12.99. I picked up two of them. I got them both for uh, half off. So um, these aren't that popular right now because what well, people love or hate Winston. But these jerseys are going to go in my jersey drawer. And that's jerseys that I'm just pretty much holding on to for a little bit. And I'll sell them. Maybe something crazy will happen and his jerseys will be sought after. But for now, it's just going to be a Bucks jersey that goes in my drawer. And here's the second one. I guess I'm a little out of frame when I stand up, so I'll try to be sat down. <laughs> There's a second Winston jersey. Uh, those aren't bangers right there, but they're decent. You know, if I sold them, I could make, you know, 10 or 15 bucks off them probably. But, all right, so uh, after I picked up those jerseys, um, I went through where my favorite section of the Salvation Army store where they got their colorful Hawaiian button-ups and all that. Uh, so this is a Tommy Bahama silk. Um, original fit. Just love the colors on this shirt. Um, I don't get a ton of Tommy Bahama stuff, but I do like getting the silk stuff. Uh, I get all kinds of different men's silk shirts when I find them. Get the Nat Nass, Tory Richard, um, Tommy Bahama, stuff like that. Uh, I run in silk again, living in Florida. We got a lot of tropical stuff here, tropical shirts, wild stuff. Seems to be doing well right now. Um, this one might not move real quick, but guarantee you when spring uh, comes around. Again, uh, $12.99 half off on this one. I got it for $6. It's a $25, $30 shirt probably. I'll drop the price down. I'm not opposed to taking offers, you know. I don't sit on my stuff. I'll drop it down until I meet my price and I'll get rid of it, you know. And, you know, I'm a small time flipper, you know, $5, $10, you know, $15, $20 profits. I just try to get some volume every week. Um, this is a very good find. Uh, I got a lot of sports stuff. It's a little windy. I'm out here on my back porch, raining, a little bit of wind, so I hope you can hear me. Uh, so Bryce Harper, boom, uh, majestic, brand new jersey, still has the tag on it. Um, so it's a cool base and still got the tag somewhere. Yep, right here. $12.99, got it half off day um, today, so 6 bucks on this Harper jersey. 
I haven't looked it up yet, but I'm, I'm imagining it's probably around forty dollars, maybe a little more. I don't know. It's embroidered. It's a good, it's a good, good uh, original jersey, and it is uh, a lot size large. So I don't know how much we'll make on that, but we're gonna make something. Moving on, got the got the Miami Heat LeBron James jersey. Uh, this is a double XL. There's missing a tag in the in the back here, um, so I believe this jersey should have had a tag. It looks like it's been cut off, but it has double XL done on the bottom. That's why I bought it, and it's embroidered. So uh, this one paid up a little bit, 19.99, but half off, 10 bucks. I don't like paying 10 bucks for jerseys, but it's a LeBron jersey, so uh, maybe 25, 30 bucks. I'm still making a little bit of something, you know, and I always start shipping. Uh, not always, but most of the time I'm going to charge shipping. You know, some There's a big debate, charge it, don't charge it. I just charge it. Because if they want to return, um, you know, if I do free shipping, they want to return. And I don't get that many returns, but if they pay it, I ain't got to worry about it. They can, they can pay it again to return it. Uh, another nice uh, Philadelphia Phillies item. Uh, being here from Florida, I run into Philly stuff because they had spring train over here down the road in Clearwater. I uh, ran into this nice, very nice, uh, majestic, full base uh, Phillies jacket. This is going to be a double XL, I believe. Yep, double XL. Still has a little uh, hologram inside there. Um, this thing's virtually new. Um, I've had like raised jerseys just or raised jackets just like this, Tampa Bay Rays that I've sold for uh, I think around $60. So I'll double check this one again. It's just, you know, uh, did I show you all the price on this one? It's $12.99, so I got it for $6.99. Um, so it's just, it's just gonna be a question of how much money, you know, gets, gets made off of it. It's a pretty jacket too. Next item, probably this is the grail of the day, I guess, uh, for this trip. And I got two of them. This is the first one, uh, Mickey Mouse Hawaiian shirt um, from the Disney store. I got this $6.99 at half off. It's a double XL. Um, it's a Hawaiian Hawaiian Disney shirt uh, with Mickey Mickey Mouse. Um, again, being in Florida, Orlando, I get a lot of Mickey stuff, so. Uh, this is a, something that's kind of rare, um, but it's a nice shirt, um, and this is probably going to go for around sixty-five dollars. So uh, that paid for all the clothes I bought today. Um, Six ninety-nine at, at the half off, three dollars. I'm going to put it into fifty or sixty probably. Um, catch a wave, beach bungalow, pool of mini, bird of paradise. Nice shirt, double XL. Uh, and it's my size. I'm not crazy about Mickey Mouse or, you know, I don't wear no Mickey, but I would, I would rock this Mickey Hawaiian shirt, you know, out at the beach in the summer or something like that, you know. 65, that's that's pretty good find. That's, well, those are those, not often that I find those, you know, maybe uh, one, once a week, you know, get, get something like that with that good of a margin on it. Uh, this is another jersey, another uh 15, I seen it 15 hanging, it was on the front of the rack. I was like, who's 15, who's 15? I, and then I look, it's, it's Tim Tebow, you know, Denver Bronco, uh, ex-Florida Gator player, so he's popular around here. Um, won the Heisman, you know the deal. Um, paid up for this one, this was $19.99. I paid 10 bucks for it. It's a Tim Tebow jersey, I'm sure it'll sell for, you know, 20 to 30, maybe $40, I don't know. XL, good size, um, and I like it. I, uh, I might throw this in my jersey drawer, I don't know. Is a Reebok, Reebok on field. That one is not embroidered. The other jerseys I got are all embroidered. All the, the other ones. Again, Florida, and I don't usually do this much. I don't pick up a lot of Florida stuff. Um, but this is Florida Gators, you know. So this is a Florida Gators Nike Elite it's quarter zip. Um, I think this one's a medium. This one was eight ninety nine. So I paid four bucks for it. Only reason I got it was because it's, it's elite, Nike Elite, um, dry fit. So something like this, uh, 
see what I did four bucks on it so yeah 15 20 dollar range you know I'm making you know ten dollars or something off it nice shirt nothing wrong with it all the sports stuff you know and the even the, the Mickey stuff was very clean or um, or um, taken to the dry cleaners this is uh, what I call the bread and butter here the staples you know you got to throw some of these in the bag uh, Nike Pro Combat fitted, you know, $1.99, um, half off, got it for a buck. You know, I'll sell this thing for $10 to $12, maybe $15, $20, who knows. Um, it's going to make some money, so that's all I care about. I don't get all wrapped up, and uh, I just know when I see an item or when I get an item, I know it's going to make money. If it's $5, it's $5. $10, $10, $20, $50, whatever. It's all gravy. Just put it in the, put it in the bag, baby. Put it in the bag. So uh, here we go. We got a St. Louis Cardinals um, Majestic Dry Fit. I'm sorry, Nike Dry Fit. Uh, Double XL. Uh, it's really like brand new. That's why I got it. Very nice condition. Something like this isn't going to sell for a ton. But again, it's a staple. It's bread and butter. It's going to go, you know, 10, 12 bucks. Moving on. Uh, little little uh, Adidas Climalite shirt. Um, red striped golf shirt. I I, I get uh, I deal with golf shirts. I'll get the uh, you know Under Armour, Foot Joy, um, Nike, Adidas. Very if they're very nice, you know. Very uh, I always look at the collars or a ring around it. You know, of course. Is there any pools? Any any anything like that? But these nice ones, you know. So this one was uh, five ninety nine. So I got it for three bucks. It's gonna go, you know, fifteen, twenty, twenty five dollars. Uh, probably not twenty five dollars, but it's gonna go in that range. So again, just a, you know, something else. And I don't know if I already said it, but I don't sit on items. I, you know, I'll put my highest price up there, and after a week, I'll drop it down, and you know, I'll, I'll just meet meet the buyer somewhere. You know, where I'm gonna meet them, and I always have best offers on. So I'm just looking to turn stuff. It was a good find. Um, I've been found a few of these uh, lately, and I haven't found my size. So I did find my size in this. Uh, this is a, a polo uh, Blake denim. Blake denim polo. These are pretty popular. You know, I, I don't buy a lot of polo stuff unless it's you know a denim or a nice sweater or something unique. Um, I won't buy the, the plain regular stuff. Um, but six ninety nine at half off. You know, three dollars. This is a thirty-five dollar, maybe forty dollar shirt online. But um, I'm gonna put this in my um, closet. I'm gonna wear this. Um, I'm gonna keep it. So when I keep something, I gotta take something out. So um, I'm thinking uh, I'll, I got a nice uh, denim Tommy Bahama in my closet. I'm gonna take that out and I'll put this in it. And this this is already professionally cleaned. Uh, it's it's uh, dry clean. It has a tag on it. So I don't, I don't go in to keep it powered for, for a minute. I don't, I'm not opposed to wearing, you know, wearing stuff and listing it because, you know, I take stuff to the cleaners all the time and I wear something, I'll uh, take it to the cleaner and then I'll list it. You know, my stuff's going there anyway. So again, another uh, a di another Disney Grail. This one's nice. Um, uh, Aloha Mini all over it and the hula skirt, Donald Duck. Um, with the, the flowers on it, the palms. This one was in at $6.99, got it half, three bucks. Uh, yeah, this is another $65, $65 shirt, you know, $50, $49. Uh, I'll, I'll drop it down, but I, I, I did look these up while I was in the store, and uh, they're, they're good, especially these kind of loud, colorful ones. You'll see there if you look them up. Um, man, there's a lot of what I would say garbage ones on there but these ones are very nice they're you know they're they're professionally clean with a tag you know these are gonna be good okay moving on what's in the bag uh, another little staple here uh, Under Armour hoodie uh, red and black um, red and black Under Armour hoodie at $5.99 so again getting it for three bucks this is gonna go in the $25 range probably um, Nice, got the pockets. Oh, does it got pockets? No. Yeah, it's got pockets. So XL pockets, hoodie. 
Got the Under Armour logo on top, Under Largo, Armour logo on the chest. And see what size. I believe it's an XL. Um, maybe you don't have a size. I'll, I'll do that. Sometimes I'll see something and look at the outside and see it's so nice and nothing wrong with it, but then it, it'll be missing a tag or something. But I don't think this one's missing a tag. I just don't think I can see it. There it is. XL, Under Armour XL. So just uh, turn it over. Here's a nice Columbia shirt, um, white, all, all white, very clean. I think this one was uh, dry clean too. Um, not a spot on it. I looked it over and over. I'm always hesitant to buy white stuff, um, but you know this is a nice uh, Omni Shade PFG. Um, the very lightweight, you know, the nice feel, nice texture, Omni Shade on there. I'm not sure what model uh, Columbia. The tag on the back is a little bit of peeling on it, but the shirt is so nice and clean that, you know, for uh, three bucks, you know, I'm going to, again, turn that in a $20 range, $25 range. So, usually what I do, I'm out here on my back porch, by the way, usually what I do, if I buy a, a, a white shirt, I'll have a bag, and then I'll just put it right in the bag after I take pictures and list it. Um, I brought this stuff out here tonight, uh, and then I don't have a bag, but it's going to go in the pile. You know, you know, I put it immediately in a bag that way. And I got a three-year-old running around. I got a little hound dog running around. You know, I don't trust nothing. The last item, um, this might be a keeper too. Um, I've never had seen this brand before, um, but I had to pick it up because it was just a nice color. You know, nice, nice pattern on this sweater. This is a men's. Uh, Men's XL 100% alpaca or alpaca, however you say it. Um, very nice. Uh, just just love the patterns on here, man. This is loud. This is what what's cool, you know. Um, but uh, I looked at comps. I couldn't find much men's comps on this stuff. So um, I'll look in a little more. But I'm thinking, you know, I'm gonna put this this joker around 50 bucks, um, and I'll probably wear it too. Um, so that's what I got in the bag, guys. I appreciate watching. Uh, you know, if you could tell anybody can tell me about this jersey or what it is or what it goes for, please do so. Um, but thanks for checking it out. See you.